It's a quasi-judicial body. Um, it's it's appointed by the by the ministry. Um, it's composed of of different members. One represents the minister. Uh, one represents the, um, the the Supreme Court um, and uh, the Chamber of Commerce, the trade unions, and of course the Labour Commissioner as an ex officio member. And so it's officially recognized. Um, its, its decisions are, are are legally binding. Um, of course, uh, if anyone wants to challenge it, they can go further within the judiciary. But um, it's, it's a fully recognized body that can issue decisions um, as it's supposed to, as allowed for under the law. And so this, I think, um, it gives the workers uh, an avenue to, to address those issues. The, the, the Labor Complaint Tribunal, is the, the scope of their work is, is to um, address those issues that fall under Section 42 of the Labor Act. So there are about 12 different instances where um, a, you may bring a case of, 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 of um, wrongful dismissal. And this addresses things like um, if you were dismissed because you or are a member of a trade union, um, or if you, uh, for, um, if because of your ethnicity, um, uh, or because of your HIV status, uh, you feel that you, know, you have been um, wrongfully uh, dismissed because of that, um, you can now bring that before the, uh, the tribunal, but it's very specific to those um, listed under section 42 of the Labor Act. The chairman is, a, is a attorney, Anthony Sylvester. Um, and so um, he, he is the current chairman of, of the tribunal. They are tri the, the Labor Act allows for the tribunal to be an independent body. So once it is established, it, it operates on its own and it is not interfered by, um, by anyone. And all, all the other members are there and each, each key sector is represented, the, the private sector, um, employers are represented, workers are represented. And of course, like I said, there's a representative of the Chief Justice also on, on, the, on the tribunal.